open planar milling dot part from uh, the part folder and we have already saved the non cutting para cutting parameters now we are going to enter the non cutting moves we'll click on the operation and then go to right click and enter edit and go to non cutting moves then we have in, in under non cutting moves we have six options here engage retract start drill points more avoidance and transfer and rapid will start with engage in, under engage we have four more options that is closed area open area initial closed area and initial open area so uh, mainly you can classify into two one is if the job is kind of closed area this you have to opt for closed area on if the job is something like open area you can always opt for open area we'll start with closed area in engagement type we will start we have few options like same as open area helical ramp on shape plunge and none uh, if you defined something uh, if you defined an open area uh, parameters of the open area then you can always opt copy it by uh, telling that same as open area but if you def want to define a separate uh, engage type for closed area you can have few options here we'll start with helix then in diameter you can either define the helix dia by uh, you can define it by percentage of the tool or you can define by mm So since it's a big cutter, cutter it won't be uh, 10, you can always opt for 50. And ramp ankle, generally people, generally uh, it varies between 5 to 15 degree. And height, you can offer 10. Then height from is uh, like, the current level is this level and previous level will be the, uh, Either you have defined a plane or a blank top side, this is top Z level. And if you want to define a plane and calculate the height from there, you can always opt for that. I am opting for current level. And minimum clearance is, uh, you can opt for 10 mm. Then ramp length is 70 percentage of the tool you can always opt for uh, something between 60 to 100 percentage but since an, it's an open area for just scheme cut there won't be uh, you should consider it as the parameters that is required for open area but just explaining you to gain a knowledge on closed area next is ramp on shape ramp on shape the parameters that you need to enter is ramp ankle so again uh, falls between 5 to 15 degree height could be uh, 10 mm height from i've already explained helix maximum width could be uh, somewhere between 200 to 500 percentage of the tool then minimum clearance we have uh, You can define the minimum clearance and that it will consider the um, if you have uh, fin doing a uh, closed it will consider the outer boundary of the cut and plunges 10 mm inside and it will make sure that it always keeps a 10 mm clearance on the Z level and the wall and this helps to prevent any uh, ch uh, cutter entry marks or distortion marks that might form if the plunge is very close to the walls and minimum ramp length is again uh, you can define it between somewhere between 60 to 100 percentage and next is plunge uh, 
this is simply uh, the cutter comes to the engage point in rapid and then we define the plunging feet and define the height and it plunges in a particular point where the software calculates and you, you can define this height from current three options here current level previous and plane and that the 10 mm the cutter will be going in plunge feed rate and engages the cutting area when you opt for none you don't need to define any engage type here I am going for none because uh, this is an open area and I can define the entry in uh, open area engage type so in open area we have few options here first one is same as closed area if you have defined some values in closed area it will copy those values and create engage type in open area next is linear under linear you have, you have to define the length of um, this will be the length between center line of the tool and the entry point next is 